Hi gang, Joe Ayers here again uh, with another installment of uh, writing questions and answers. Before we get into today's question, I'll we'll remind you of these things again. Uh, there's my website, joeyerscares.com. You want to know about the novels, go to the novels tab, click on it. You want to know about my academic writing, go to the About Me section, go to the end of that, to the Vita, and they're all listed there. So today's question is, um, well, what, uh, which of your, um, what was it? Tell us about your first published book and what was the journey like? Okay. Uh, actually, I'm going to tell you about two books. One uh, academic and one creative. Uh, the academic book, the first one I published, was a thing called Effective Public Speaking. And uh, this is it right here. That's the first edition of that book uh, by me and a colleague named Jan Miller. Uh, that experience is very different than the experience that we have these days. That was done in... Uh, um, started in 82, probably finished it up about 83, somewhere in there. But in uh, to get a book contract, which is what you got, you put together a book prospectus about uh, what is the topic, why are you doing it, what's the market likely to be, all of those kinds of things. And uh, then you sell that to a publisher, uh, which we did. Uh, William C. Brown in those days. Uh, and then you have this contract that says you're going to produce this by that date. Um, wow, that's, uh, that's a little tougher than uh, just writing a novel the way you write them these days. If you have a contract to write the novel, it would be different than the way I'm writing it. I don't have a contract. So anyway, uh, then you did not have computers. We did have a fairly decent typewriter and hired a typist, but you're writing this. Uh, I was typing my end. Uh, I don't know exactly how Jan worked on her end of thing, but I drafted the whole chapter and revised it, did a bunch of research and so on and so forth. Then uh, when you get get that drafted and you and your co-author are satisfied with it, and hopefully you've got it by the deadline, you send it into the publisher, and the publisher sends it out to reviewers, and reviewers tell you you got to do this sort of thing and that sort of thing, and the publisher is insistent that you get that done, and of course there's a deadline, and on and on and on it goes. Uh, eventually, you get the, the published, and the publisher does a lot of things for you, like formatting the actual interior stuff. Uh, the publisher came up with the... Uh, uh, design, I don't know whether that's a good one or not, but they came up with that. Uh, and, you know, the binding and the size of the book and none of those things you have to decide. The publisher does all that stuff for you. And, and the publisher goes in there, does a great job of editing and cleaning up your writing and making things look uh, a lot sharper than they might have looked otherwise. Um, uh, I assume that publishing textbooks like that uh, quite a bit easier these days than it was then, but probably some of those same characteristics are involved. Negotiation over the contract, what will your royalties be, when will you get it done, how long will it be, uh, what sort of competition is there out there, uh, and so on and so forth. Um, writing the novels that I'm writing, totally different experience. Uh, you write the thing on your own schedule. So there's nobody telling you. You don't have a publisher. You're publishing it yourself. Uh, when you do get it finished and you're happy with what you've got, then you go into the Kindle publishing. Actually, I don't do this. My wife does this, Frances Ayers. Uh, she goes in and uh, formats the book, uh, then does the editing of the book the way the publisher used to do it. And she also uh, then uh, picks out the cover and designs it decides on the shape and size of the book and the type of type. And, you know, she does all that kind of stuff. Um, but it's all in your hands. It's not the publisher's hands. Uh, you don't, you know, with the published books, uh, the ones um, like the public speaking book, uh, you don't get to decide what the cover's going to look like. You don't get to decide on the size. You can offer input, but they do all that stuff. It's in their ballpark, and uh, they're experts and so on, and they do it. 
This way, you're just kind of on your own guessing. Uh, so from my standpoint, uh, the process of the journey, as they call it, I think it's more of an experience than a journey, um, is very different for uh, when you're working with a publisher versus when you're publishing on your own. Very different given the kinds of technology that's available now than was available then. Uh, much easier in many ways and more complicated in many ways uh, these days than it was then. Um, a more straightforward kind of thing when somebody else is setting the type versus when you're picking out what the type is going to be. Um, then there's the whole aspect that the publisher did all of the promotion of uh, effective public speaking. But we're doing the promotion of that uh, ourselves, the books ourselves. Uh, and this series of answering these questions that people have sent in or ones that I've thought of myself uh, is also part of that uh, promotion thing. So I try to give you an insight on uh, what's going on uh, with the novels, what's going on with me, and all of that. So uh, the promotions is different. The process is different. Uh, it's all been very interesting and uh, a lot of fun in many ways. It's certainly expanded my horizons. Anyway, that's my view on uh, the journey involved in uh, publishing uh, my first novel and my first uh, uh, academic book. Catch you next time. By the way, don't forget to subscribe, comment, uh, share if you're so inclined.